Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting ready together. This is one of my favorite videos to make because I just love to share with you <laughs> the new products I get and you always ask me about makeup. I do change it up here and there. <laughs> I think I do have my favorite products now but I just like mix them up in different ways. So I want to just share with you what's the deal because I know in my previous video there was like a quite few questions about what's going on with my skin, how come it's the way it is and I do not use foundation, it's guys I swear to you this baby, <laughs> this is like a magic and I'm going to show you how I'm using it so you know yeah I mean I don't usually even put like too much of it on my face unless it's evening but today we have some things to do we have a lot of lot of errands in the next couple months one month because we are trying to figure out everything before we leave this country and we are also going to do all the possible doctor visits you know <laughs> because we have insurance here so yeah <laughs> So guys, let's get ready together. As well, I want to remind you something I have never mentioned before. Did you subscribe? Anyway guys, so let's get ready. As well, you know, there is Instagram, you can totally follow because I'm planning to link all my favorite products to, you know, to the little stories, to the little bubbles there. So if you ever are curious about anything I'm using, it will be there. It's gonna take a little bit of time, so be patient with me. And now, before we move, we're a little bit busy. Plus, we have some trips planned, which I'm so excited about. So first, guys, you know, I'm using this Tatcha... How do you call this? Uh, sheets. Japanese beauty paper. Okay, whatever. And I remove, like, the oiliness from my eyebrows before I use the pencil, which has my hair on. Fabulous. So before I started today, I took a nap <laughs> because we woke up at like <laughs> crazy time to go to the gym and I used this mask, it's the skin brightening sheet mask so just to let you know as well, I feel like I get a little glow I don't feel like glowy on inside today, <laughs> I'm very tired, I'm not sure what's going on but I used the mask and I am liking it, I'm liking it. I know some of you hate Zio, but I think you have to be smart about what you're getting and what you're putting on your face. So let's do the eyebrows first. So guys, that is the eyebrows. I as well am very focusing on creating the arch a little bit closer because you're supposed to do it like here. But you know, I had micro needling done many years ago and I still have a little bit of shade here. So I'm going to just like make it disappear with a little bit of concealer. By the way, as well, if you are like me, and you love 3.5 concealer from Armani but you are in Europe and it seems like this shade is not popular here <laughs> anyway, even in London um, that's why I have two other tones which are way too light and way too dark <laughs> which is, I think, I don't know but this one is 4 I don't love them, they're too specific in color but 3.5 is always like my color like, let me show you you see that it's perfect but I'm not able to buy it anywhere here so I purchased this Tom Ford concealer shade and illuminate and this is uh, one CO silk guys it's similar to the tone I'm going to show you right now it's lighter but it's like a similar 
when you blend it, <laughs> it's similar. So, because it, it's different structure, but there are like... It's difficult to buy makeup here, just saying, you know? So, I highly recommend you to, to give a try to Tom Ford as well, if you have the same kind of struggles. You know guys, coming to Europe, I had no idea I will have so much struggle to find like the colors, <laughs> let's say, because they're all European brands, like Armani is Italian, I should be able to buy it here, but it seems like it's not popular color, so they don't buy it. I went to like something like Sephora, it's called Douglas, Douglas, I don't remember how to pronounce it, whatever. And they, the second I ask for the color, they look at me like, yeah, you never have that. Just like, <laughs> so annoying. So I'm going to use a little bit of Anastasia powder just to... You know, just to brush through the eyebrows to give them a little bit more natural look. So the, the strokes are not so visible. I as well have to say I am not plugging my eyebrows at all. I'm just letting them grow. <laughs> if they're like growing all over here, I don't care. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. <laughs> my favorite eye primer. Sometimes I tend to use concealer only, but certain makeup doesn't hold on my eyelids. It just melts. So I have to use eye primer because the concealer guys just doesn't work for me like it does not there we go and I love eye primer honestly I think it's <laughs> like a very important important part of my routine makeup routine La Bouche Rouge this is the only matte eyeshadow guys they have <laughs> this one it's the matte in neutral tones, I will link it below for you so you see it. What I like to do, I like to mix these two together, these two tones, because one is cool and one is warm, so I just like how they work together like that. And I just put it all over my eyelid. And now I'm like in the arch, where is the bone, and I'm just like, you know, blending, blending, blending. <laughs> Guys, I also received so many questions on my Instagram about my post about moving back to the States and possibly coming back to Europe again a little bit later. But guys, it's not going to be like um, Central Europe. It probably will be England. Um, but as well, it will be just like for six months because what my husband find out that Americans can stay in England legally for six months. So that will be kind of cool. Uh, I would say it will be a nice experience, but I will have to make sure it's not over winter. <laughs> like spring, summer, fall, nice. Winter, no, that's not nice. <laughs> I never thought it would be so official with me to say that I am <laughs> A summer person. I'm just a summer person. That's it. <laughs> I will have to buy new. I'm going to have to buy this brush very soon new because I wash it so much that the, that the hair is like coming out in a weird way. It is what it is. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of concealer guys. Not too much, it's just around the areas which 
I have little discoloration As for this Tom Ford concealer, it's kind of thick, so what I like to do, just to dip it up a little bit, you see, and then, oops, then I'm going to use my fingers because obviously I applied too much of it, and I don't like this much of product on my face, I have a little bit more than usually. Sometimes when you do video, you know, Things happen like that. You know, when I work for Tom Ford, I used to love the makeup so much. I had like <laughs> so much makeup. Um, I had so much makeup because when you work for luxury brands, you get quite good discount, guys. <laughs> Just to let you know. Anyway, so at Tom Ford, we got like 50% off. Which was great. That's why I have so many Tom Ford dresses. And my favorite time was when the sales started because you get the sale price plus your discount. You see how the skin immediately looks natural with a little glow. I just love this. I love, love, love this product. I'm going to take I need to wash my brushes. Another clean brush and I'm just going to remove a little bit of the eyeshadow because I don't want to have this much of eyeshadow for the daytime. That's why it's always good to have multiple brushes so you can like, you know, possibly remove if you overdid something. And now one of my favorite ones. I have this gorgeous rose tone with light. It has like this um, mother of pearl tone to it. It's so pretty. On a hand for some reason looks like a matte eyeshadow, but trust me guys, it's not. And I like to apply it. To the inner corner, do you see how it gives you like this glowy? Vibe right there. I just love, love it, love it. And when the sun hits you, not that it's sunny today, <laughs> but when the sun hits you on this eyeshadow, it just looks so nice. I just love that. Eyeliner. Perfect. This eyeliner is just the best eyeliner on the world guys on the world i swear to you it's the best so now i'm going to take my favorite 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 product on the world <laughs> this bronzer i got a little breakout here in the inner corner of my mouth <laughs> doesn't make me happy i'm going to take a clean brush because I don't have any Q-tip here. Usually I go with like a Q-tip or brush. I don't put my hand in it. Something clean, you know. The only bad thing about this product is that you keep have to go to the yard, ER, so you have to be careful not to get it like dirty, you know. That's it, guys. <laughs> anyway, obviously now. This is very old Tom Ford brush from my times again, because you know I don't think I will buy like hundred dollars <laughs> makeup brushes. 
So anyway, so this bronzer is very jelly guys, so it's easy to blend it. It's very light. As you can see, it's like really nothing on the skin. I like to use brush to apply it because I think it looks the best with the brush. And of course I take it down to my neck and my nose. So I look like my face makes sense, right? I don't usually contour my nose, guys. <laughs> Why I don't contour my nose? Because I sneeze so much. <laughs> that if I put any makeup like specifically on my nose it's just not going to look good very soon <laughs> I mean you could do this right <laughs> but really I don't care do you see like immediately it just looks so nice and I have here this guys I've been using it I've been using it, but do I think it's the best? No, absolutely not. I think Westman Atelier is much nicer, but I'm not able to buy the color I want to get. I have just the Shushet, which is very pretty, but it's a little too light now for upcoming season. So I wanted to try something else. So that's why I try this one. And the company is the Towers 28, I guess that's how you say it, right? Beach, please, happy hour. I guess that's the color. I'm going to use my concealer brush and just put a little bit of it. On my face and again, my hands. I just feel like with cream products, I like to use my hands because it just works the best for me. Again, the nose. <laughs> Put a little bit more to my hands and just like dab it a little bit on the temples. Just very gently. Wonderful. Guys, and a discovery of the year <laughs> is this little tiny thing I have right now. It's the Ilia Mascara, Limitless Lash Mascara. That's the lengthening one. Oh my God, it's a simple. I have it forever, forever. And I haven't used it. And then I used it by accident the other day because I want to just like put a little bit of mascara when I'm home. <laughs> and uh, I love it. I'm going to buy it. The brush is like this. So much fun. So much fun. It just brushes one lash by lash. And you can get very close to the roots with this mascara. Do you see that? Isn't this impressive? I think it is. Fabulous. Fabulous. I had to change a light because my light just gave up, of course. <laughs> there we go. So, one more thing, lips. I don't usually do contouring of my lips because I don't like the super geometric lips, you know. But if I do use contour, guys, I go for this Huda Beauty in 
pink brown I usually do it when we go for dinners I'm running out of this one but I have a new one or is this the new one? I don't know so oops a little hair As far as you see, when I contour my lips, they start looking so much bigger. <laughs> so I like to use contour just as a lasting base for a lipstick. This is the Killian in Nude Goddess. Gorgeous, gorgeous tone. The only thing which bothers me about the lipstick is the scent, it's very strong. And if you want to have a glow but you don't want to be super shiny in the T-zone, like I don't want today, I'm going to use my Chantecaille powder and this is the HD Perfecting Powder and I am just going to you know, very lightly put a little bit of powder to my eyebrows to mattify it the forehead, right? around the nose and chin and that's it guys that's it that's the makeup I think this is quite light, I know it takes a little bit of time when I make it, do it on video, but otherwise it's really fast, I forgot my bottom lashes hmm. there it is guys, so done, now it's done <laughs> anyway guys, this is, this is the makeup which you could see me, me wearing in my previous video I think these products are very easy to use, very good. I am not obsessed with the blush because I don't feel like it lasts good. I think it's a little too greasy honestly. I would prefer if it was a little bit more on the dry style but I wanted to try it because it's so popular all over the internet, right? It sold me on it but it's not that expensive. So you see it's very creamy. So I don't think I will be buying more products from this brand because they are a little too greasy for me. I prefer Westman Atelier cream blushes because they are not so oily. It is what it is. Anyway guys, so this is the makeup. I just wanted to share it with you. And, and I am ready to go for our appointments. So great. As well, I need to do one more thing forever right <laughs> anyway guys this is it i hope you enjoyed this little updated makeup i think uh, my absolute favorite mascara had to be shared and i really wanted to share it with you so you needed to know and as well the concealer from tom ford i think it's really good i think it's very impressive it gives you this glow very natural look i think it's actually even better than the armani the armani is a little bit more heavy so I think if you go for more natural look, I highly recommend you to give a try this Tom Ford one. So this is it. These are the two perfections of uh, my life now. <laughs> and I'm keeping them in my makeup bag. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe one more time so you don't forget. And I see you next week because I have to go. We have appointments. Bye-bye. <laughs>